Hello, today I'm going to be sharing with you several tips and tricks for sharing documents within Google Drive and managing them for most efficiency. One of the best reasons to use Google Drive is the ability to share documents with others and collaborate on those documents. So if I wanted to share a document with someone inside my organization or outside my organization, the first thing I need to do is click on share. From here, you are you can get a shareable link and then you have some options with how to, to uh, share this out. You can share it with edit permissions, uh, comment permissions, or they can only view. Or I can get more options. I can make it public on the web. I can share it with anybody, but they need the link to get it. I can only share it within my, my district if I want to. Or I can turn it off so only specific people are able to look at it. So right now I'm going to keep it on view. I'm going to hit save. And it's important to keep in mind whether it's inside your organization or or viewable outside your organization. So if I get this link now, it's copied to the clipboard, I can put that into an email. The other thing that I can do is I can put in someone's address and uh, I can select someone to share that with and I can give them edit permissions or view permissions or comment permissions. I can add a note to explain why I'm sharing this with them. And then I can hit send and it would send them an email to that document. Depending upon the permissions, they can either view it, comment on it, or they can also edit the document. Another thing you can do is share entire folders with someone inside your organization or outside organization. For example, when I get subs, I never know if they're going to have a, a district address or not. So I share my lesson plans with them using a uh, link that can be viewed outside the district. The way that I do that is I click on the, I go to the folder, I click on the down arrow, Next to the name, do is share, bring up that same share box. And you can change the permissions here, whether you want to restrict it to inside your district, whether they can edit or view only in that folder, or whether you want it available outside of the district. So anyone with the link can do that. You copy the link, you share it with them uh, on the subsystem, and life is good. Many people don't realize you can store all kinds of files in your Google Drive to share with others. It's a great place to put your audio and your video files as well. I'm going to upload some files now and show you how you can use those within Google Drive. So I'm going to click on New, and I'm going to do File Upload. And I'm going to go to this folder I've got for files to upload, and I'm going to select them all. I'm going to hit Open and that will upload them all into Google Drive. And you can share these files uh, for others to view as well, just as easily as any other type of file. So I've got an MP4 here, I've got a PowerPoint, I've got a Google, I mean a Microsoft Word file, I've got an MP3 file, I've got an Excel file. And uh, you can store these here. You can share them out this way. Especially great solution for sharing out large files such as uh, video files. Also, you can convert any of these Microsoft Office files to Google Doc files uh, so that you can edit them, share them, and collaborate on them as well. So, for example, if I right-click on this Energy Flow PowerPoint, and I go open with Google Slides, you'll see now it's converting it. This is no longer the PowerPoint icon. It is the Google Slides icon. And it will take a minute to convert. But when it's done, it will convert that to a Google Slides. 
So that's no longer a PowerPoint. What happened to the original? Well, when I close this and go back, you'll see now I've got a Google Slides version and I've got a PowerPoint version. The same thing I can do with um, a Word document. I can open it in Docs and it will convert it. So it takes just a second to convert that over. There you go. I can close that. And again, now I've got the original Word file and the Google Doc file. So nothing gets corrupted in the process. And I will do the same thing with this Excel file. Open with. This is a going to be a Google Sheets because it's a spreadsheet. And it takes a moment to convert. There you go. So I close that. Now I've got these original files still. If I want to remove them, I can send them to the trash by right clicking on it and choosing remove. If I decided I didn't want to do that, then I would go back to trash. I'd find the file, right click on it, and now I could restore it. And now it's restored back to my original uh, folder. So I still have the original, the original file, just like before. If I want to make sure that I can find these easily, what I'm going to do is actually star them. So if I wanted to star the files I've converted, I'm going to right click and choose uh, Add Star. And you see this little star here? I'm going to do the same thing for the Google Doc, add a star, and I'm going to add a star for the Google Sheets. And now when I go over to my starred items in the navigation pane, um, I will see it refresh and it will show me the files. Where is it? Last modified is I so there you go. There's the spreadsheet, there's the Google Doc, there's the PowerPoint. When you start getting a lot of files in your My Drive, as you can clearly see, I have. Um, it's important to organize them into folders, use the color scheme we talked about in the in the previous uh, video that I shared, um, but also how to navigate through these drop down uh, triangles. So if you click on to the left of my drive on this little triangle, you will see all the folders that are in your my drive so you can put them into folders so that can help you find stuff. You can go under team drives and create team drives for certain groups of people within your organization that you always want to share stuff with. You can uh, easily find files that are shared with you, but that are not in your My Drive by clicking on Share It With Me. You can see your recents and um, see which files you have worked with recently and when it was modified. So that can be very helpful. If you star your files, it's helpful to do that. And what I like to do is, is after I've selected stars, I like to go to last modified on this drop down to, to uh, see them listed by the most recently modified. They will list folders first and then files next. And of course, the last thing that you'll see is your trash and you can see items that have been deleted but not yet removed from your my drive and if you want to clear that out you have the option to do that as well to permanently delete them 